ओके गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डीएसपी बिफोर दैट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग दिस इज डॉक्टर तेलुगु मदलेटी so dear friends do you know what is a signal so anything which carries information is a signal is it right or not so it may be a speech signal or it may be a ecg signal so speech signal contains some information is it right right ecg signal uh, contains information about uh, your heart suppose if any malfunctions are there in the heart by processing ecg signal doctor will come to know the uh, about the malfunctions in the heart accordingly will suggest the medication so signals constitute an important part of our daily life anything that carries some information is called a signal so you can define it as a a single valued function of one or more independent variables which contain some information so it is a physical quantity that varies with time space or any independent any other independent variable so you can represent a signal in time domain or frequency domain human speech is a familiar example of a signal electric current and voltage are also examples of signals so a signal may be a function of time temperature position pressure distance etc it may be one dimensional signal or multi dimensional signal so this is about signal uh, friends in this course we will learn uh, some of the mathematical representations of the signals also a signal is a real valued function of one or more real va variables right so it is a mathematical function uh, it is a function of mathematical terms f of x1 x2 these are all independent variables where x may be time distance temperature whatever it may be so a continuous time signal x of t is a function of independent continuous variable t suppose if it is a discrete time signal is a function of discrete variable n before going to that let me define what is a system a system is defined as an entity that acts as an acts on an, uh, an input signal and transforms it into an output signal you can define it as a, a set of elements or fundamental blocks which are connected together and produces an output in response to an input signal it is a cause and effect relation between two or more signals now let me discuss about uh, what is the need for processing signal processing is simply the manipulation of properties of a specific signal to obtain a signal with more desirable properties properties such as amplitude phase or frequency spectrum may be altered to meet a specific requirement in the early days electronic engineers achieved signal processing using discrete hardware components such as resistors capacitors inductors transistors diodes and other semiconductor devices in such a case signal variable that was continuous with time was used as an input to a hardware device that produced a new version of the signal variable where some of the properties have been altered in digital signal processing the processes that were achieved using hardware are done using software in order to process signal variables that are continuous with the time using software the variables have to be converted to the correct format normally a sequence of numbers 
you have to convert it into a sequence of numbers this is done using analog to digital converters a processor would then manipulate this signal in some desired fashion after going through the process the resulting sequence of numbers has to be converted back to analog using digital to analog converters so in the dawn of digital signal processing the processors were slow and the applications of digital signal processing were limited today we have very fast and power efficient process that uh, the applications of dsp have increased dramatically thus signal processing is a method of extracting information from the signal which in turn depends on the type of signal and the nature of the information it carries thus signal processing is concerned with representing signals in the mathematical terms and extracting information by carrying out algorithmic uh, operations on the signal dsp has many advantages over analog signal processing let us see one by one so what is the need for processing to obtain signal in more desirable form we need to perform some operations on the signal so that uh, it will be converted into more suitable form so uh, suppose if you want to cancel noise or if you want to multiplex many signal over a single uh, channel uh, demultiplexing amplification of uh, signals all these are uh, some of uh, some some examples for processing so how digital processing of an analog signal is carried out is shown here first analog signal is uh, given to sample and hold circuit here the signal is held constant for uh, some time as analog uh, to digital conversion requires some time right so this uh, so here it is uh, output of sample and hold circuit is converted into a sequence of samples these samples are uh, still it is discrete uh, in nature this signal is given as input to a to d converter output of a to d converter uh, is a almost uh, digital digital signal and it is coded to binary high voltage is uh, coded as one low voltage is coded as zero so this uh, zeros and ones uh, are given as input to digital signal processor here digital signal processor uh, performs three operations like uh, sampling quantization and encoder these three operations will be performed on the um, this code and output of digital signal processor again is a digital signal that is given as input to d to a converter so d to a converter output is a staircase signal uh, which is indication of presence of high frequencies this uh, this staircase signal is given as input to analog low pass filter so where uh, finally we will get analog output in this way so digital processing of an analog signal is carried out so what is dsp so a digital signal process like real world signals like um, voice audio video temperature pressure or position that have been digitized and then mathematically manipulate them a dsp is designed for performing mathematical functions like uh, addition subtraction multiplication and divide very quickly now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, dsp so advantages are uh, more advantages are there flexibility flexibility and the same hardware can be used to do various kind of signal processing operation while in the analog signal processing one has to design a system for each kind of operation just by altering program we can do we can achieve anything with the dsp one hardware many tasks with the same hardware many tasks we can complete so that is the advantage and the programmability and the flexibility is there with the dsp second one is tolerance so unlike analog circuits the operation of the digital circuits does not depend on precise values of this digital signals as a result digital circuits are less sensitive to tolerance component values so one more advantage is component drift with temperature so digital systems are fairly independent temperature independent of temperature 
aging aging means time and most uh, other external parameters for example due to change in temperature the internal resistance uh, are may change in analog systems on the other hand digital systems use a logic one or logic zero which are independent of temperature next one is system size analog systems normally use inductor capacitor and resistor therefore the size of the hardware is larger uh, as compared to digital system next advantage is storage so digital signals are easily stored in uh, on magnetic media for example tape and disc without uh, deterioration or uh, deterioration or loss of signal fidelity therefore this signal becomes <coughs> transportable and can be processed off uh, processed offline in a remote laboratory on the other hand stored analog signals deteriorate rapidly as time progresses and cannot be recovered in their original form next one is implementation it is very difficult to perform precise mathematical operations on a signal in analog form but these same operation can be routinely implemented on the digital computer using hardware uh, next advantage is cost digital signal processing allows the sharing of a given processor among a number of signals by time sharing thus reducing the cost of processing per signal this is done by time division multiplexing so all are uh, advantages only uh, when any system is uh, uh, designed uh, along with advantages there will be some disadvantages generally so what are those disadvantages so system complexity so digital signal processing of analog signals is more complex because we are using we need to convert uh, analog to digital and digital to analog and uh, their associated filters we are using so design of all these uh, according to our requirement is somewhat a uh, difficult task second one is bandwidth the second disadvantage associated with the dsp is the limited range of frequencies available for processing this property limits the limits its applications particularly in the dsp of analog signals these signals having extremely wide bandwidth require for require generally fast sampling rate a to d converters hence the, there are many analog signals with large bandwidth for which the digital uh, signal processing approach is beyond the state of the art out of the digital hardware uh, third one is power another disadvantage of dsp is the signal systems are constructed using active devices just like transistor that consumes power on the other hand a variety of an uh, analog processing algorithm can be implemented using passive circuits employing inductors capacitors and resistors that do not need any power also active devices are uh, less reliable than passive devices so then uh, let me finish uh, today's lecture by stating um, by telling about the importance of digital signal processing so dsp is uh, uh, signal dsp of signal plays a vital role in almost every field of science and engineering Uh, if you see in biomedical ecg eeg emg x-ray ultrasonic mri all these are uh, applications of dsp only if you come to speech processing speech compression and de decompression um speech synthesis speech recognition all the uh, are uh, um applications of dsp in audio and video equipment also just like audio and video compression for storage in dvds will be achieved using dsp communication systems spectrum analysis of modulated signals helps to identify the information bearing frequencies components that can be used for transmission <coughs> generation and detection of dtmf signals in telephones all these uh, will be achieved using uh, dsp only in power electronics image processing geology astronomy everywhere in every field dsp plays an important role thank you friends with this let me finish uh, my lecture for today thank you